UGA professor Brian Orland was on a morning run when he says it came out of nowhere. And all of a sudden there was this like thing slammed into the top of my head and uh, it's like I hollered. It's like, wow. <laughs> the thing that slammed into him, none other than an owl. And take a look at this abrasion the bird left on his head. These things are totally silent. There is no warning. The amazing thing is I didn't die of a heart attack on the spot. That was pretty cool. Orland was running around 6 a.m., taking his usual path down Hill Street when he was attacked between Chase and Franklin Street. But that wasn't the only time this happened. Again, this week. Bang, the same thing. I mean, I knew immediately what it was. When he tried to continue his run, Orland says the owl still wasn't having it. And it hit me again from behind, just on the side of the head. It was like <laughs> After the first attack, Orland took to next door to post about his encounter, saying the bird, quote, must have been attracted by the streetlight glinting off my glistening bald spot. But falconer Mary Cope thinks otherwise. Um, well, owls are very territorial. She said two species, either the barred owl, which is territorial all year long, or the great horned owl attacked Orland because this is its breeding season. It doesn't matter if they think it's like another owl or if they see a person, if they see a threat in their newly established territory, they're going to defend it, especially if that's where they're planning to raise babies. And as for those morning runs down Hill Street. I guess I'm gonna have to just tough it out here. Maybe I'll have to wear a bicycle helmet or something. Erin Valley, Grady News Source.